Since this webcast is aimed at those of us in the six to ten year range, a lot of us are being newly promoted to first time supervisor or management roles. Do you have any tips or techniques and just advice that you wish you knew when you were back then newly promoted? Yeah, I think um, always trying to put yourself in the shoes of the people that you're working with. I think it's, it's, it's often easy to forget when, you, when you're that supervisor or you're now that manager, it's, it's easy to forget what it was like to sit in the chair of a, of a brand new staff level one. Um, and you're getting hit with a lot of different things. There's a whole bunch of different responsibilities that you're going to encounter as a supervisor or a senior or a manager that, that you know, you've never encountered before and you've got to digest. Uh, but remember that your team, you're only as good as your team is and you've got to have a lot of empathy for where they sit and it's often hard to remember that but you just got to try to remind yourself. So I'm a big proponent of emotional intelligence, which is all about how do you deal with people, what's the best way to deliver things, understanding how people learn and how they interact with each other. Uh, I think that's really important. So if you've not had any sort of education, just grab a book on emotional intelligence and you know, try to really practice it. And I think it's going to be really eye-opening for you. But also, you know, when you move to the next level, um, it's important to make sure that you're doing that level work. So if you just got promoted to supervisor or a manager, you shouldn't be doing something that somebody on your team is is more appropriately leveled to do. You need you got moved up for a reason. They saw something in you. You excelled above and beyond where you currently were, and you need to now shed whatever previous level work you were doing and move up into the next realm and provide different value and more value. And I think very often we we get a new business card and we get a new title and our signature block changes in our email but our work doesn't really change. You know, we still go out with the same team on the same audit or you know, we're working on the same thing. You need to be able to change the work that you're doing and, and ex accelerate that to the next level with your new promotion. And don't be afraid somebody else has already been there before you. So you, you, you can be open enough to ask the right questions if there's something you're struggling with in your new role and uh, you know, you're not the first person there. So just have that confidence knowing that somebody else has been able to do it, I should be able to do it too. Mm -hmm.